Hello everybody, welcome. Wow, what a wonderful day. I woke up this morning, I was so blessed. I breathed again, I had the sun shining again. I'm just blessed to be alive. Every day that I'm alive is a wonderful day. I wanted to come to you today and talk to you a little bit about this inner voice you have inside of you that we all have. Some people call it the Spirit of God, some people call it God, intuition, instinct, whatever you want to call it. I call it the Spirit that God put in me. And you actually have two voices that you hear. And if you're not hearing any, you can, you can actually hone the skill of listening and hearing by using it, just like your muscles. If you don't use them, you lose them. Well, this is the same way. So if you're hearing this voice and you're, you're, you're just really not sure, you're not taking advantage of it, but I want to talk about two different voices that you're going to hear. Some are negative and some are positive. The negative ones are the ones that you're mad at somebody and you just want to respond and you go, or maybe they're negative voices that were, were implemented into you from past experiences that those negatives about who you think you are. Okay, I want you to, to encourage you to those voices to get rid of them or at least give them some time. What I say is if, if you got a negative thought about somebody or something, give it 24 hours before you, you acknowledge that, that thought. But what happens is the positives, most people flip those around. The positive voices are the voice that you hear that tells you, wow, you should go up and prospect that person, or you should go up and talk to that person, or you should ask that guy or girl out on a date, or stuff like that. Most people, what they do is they respond instantly to the negative voice, but they do not respond to the positive voice. I want to to encourage you to try to flip those around, not try, do. Flip those around and start listening to that inner voice. When you're sitting there and, and somebody, and you hear that voice that says, wow, that's a sharp person, I should go over there and talk to them, and yet you don't. What I call it the three seconds of boldness. Take advantage of those three seconds of boldness. Put them into your life, and the more you use them, the more you do this, the better you're gonna get at hearing that voice. The more, the more you're out there and you, you hear that voice and you do what you do. Now, you may not get the results you want to, but that voice is not he, there to give you success every time. The success is sometimes internally of you taking action on those, those feelings and those thoughts and those voices inside of you that say, do this or do that. It's, it's, it's like your muscles. The more you use it, the better it gets. So a lot of times it's just getting you to take action. Action cures fear. A lot of people say that... that that fear is false evidence appearing real. That's not what I say. Fear is fall, the, the lack of faith. So if you have faith, the more you use that voice, the more you listen to that voice, and you go out there and you attack what you know is right, and you get those feelings and you just do it, the more you do that, that that's walking out on faith. And God put you here for the faith that, that he, He's going to bless you and take care of you. So I want to encourage you, the more you have faith in that voice, the stronger that voice will become and the more success you will have. This is Vincent St. Louis. I'm hoping you have a very prosperous and blessed day.